I'm Tracy Sinclair and this is your fast cast for October 10th, 2024. Our top story for today, Hurricane Milton made landfall as a category three storm late Wednesday night, leaving a path of flooding and destruction across Florida. The storm caused more than 150 tornadoes, left more than 3 million customers without power and has killed at least five people. Emergency responders are continuing to assess the damage across the state. The Alaska National Guard said in a press release Thursday, they will be sending 50 guardsmen on state active duty to deploy to Florida to assist with response and recovery efforts. The final election results for Houston are put on hold as officials weigh a potential recount for a council seat. The city says write-in candidate Callie Courtney, who was running for seat G on the council, filed a contest of election. She's claiming the results for her position were accounted for in the October 1st election. Houston's Mayor Carter Cole tells us the city clerk and city attorney are reviewing the situation. If there's any validity to the letter, then they will provide a written response to the city council in which we will take action based upon what we're told the results of their investigation find. Council, a council member tells Alaska's News Source that they have been advised not to comment on the situation. Courtney declined to comment, saying she needs to speak with her attorney first. And tonight, Alaska's news source and Alaska Public Media will bring you our U.S. House debate with Representative Mary Peltola and challenger Nick Begich. We'll ask the candidate questions that are most pressing to Alaskans and let you get to know them just a little better. You can watch live on Channel 2 at 7 and 8 p.m. or you can find it on our streaming platforms. And don't forget, you can get news, sports and weather all day long on alaskasnewsource.com and on Alaska's news source.